Hey guys, Brent here with thedroiddemos.com. Today I've got the routing tutorial for the HTC Evo 4G LTE. Uh, I've been working with Dan Raga, creator, creator of Raga Mod, over the past week. Uh, he sought out to create the easiest route method for this new phone of ours. Um, this is going to unlock your bootloader, flash a recovery, and install all the super user files you need to create uh, get full root functionality on your new Evo. Uh, so if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment and I'll answer it. I uh, hope you don't have any problems with it. I think you'll like it a lot. This is really easy for you. So let's get started. So there are two things that we first need to install before we can root the phone. The first is .NET 4.0. Uh, if you're not sure if you have it installed, you can just go ahead and run the installer. If you want to check for it, you can just go to the start button, go to uh, uninstall, type it uninstall program right here, and we can look at Microsoft.net. Uh, you see I ha already have Framework 4 here installed, uh, so I wouldn't have to do anything else. Um, but if you don't have it installed, you can just go ahead and double click on it and go through the setup. Uh, you see here, it's, for me, it says repair or remove. Uh, but if you don't have it installed, you can go through the setup. It's really easy. Just let it, let it do its install, and you can go ahead and finish it. The second thing is the HTC drivers. Um, if you're Again, if you're not sure if you have them installed, you can just go ahead and double-click on the install file right here. And if you don't have these install uh, these files downloaded already, make sure that you download them. Um, so you see here with the drivers, I have repair or remove um, because I already have this installed. Uh, if you don't, you can go through the setup um, and it'll do all the install for you. Um, if you if you're in doubt, just go ahead and install both of them, and nothing bad will happen if you do. So install those and then we can go ahead and continue with the root process. Um, so we're going to want to put our phone into USB debugging mode. We can do that by going to settings. You can get there by your app drawer. You can drag down from the notification bar and go down to developer options. And At the top you see an option for USB debugging. Just go ahead and check that off and we can click OK. Uh, so that way it can communicate with the phone when we connect, or communicate with the computer when we connect it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and connect it right now. Uh, you can too. And now on our computer we can go ahead and extract the root file that we downloaded just by right clicking and extract all. and we can go ahead and just extract it there. You can extract it anywhere you want, doesn't matter. Um, just make sure that you keep the files together. You see here we have two files, <coughs> excuse me, AndroidLib.dll and the RegaMod router. Um, so just make sure that these are kept together, uh, but they can be extracted to any folder that you want. Um, so now we can go ahead and get started. To start the root process, we just double click on this, go ahead and click Run and this will pop up and start the root process. Again, this is practically all automated. It uses HTC's unlock method, um, but it's all automated. So to start, we just click, click the big root me button, and it says, uh, do not unplug your Evo and the computer until prompted to do so. Do you want to continue? Yes. It says, you see this window now because we are rebooting the Evo. Um, and waiting for it to reconnect after it reboots. Uh, so you see the phone, should see the phone rebooting. There we go, it's now in the bootloader. And it says, please wait while HTC dev is automated and submits the token. And this token will allow the bootloader to be unlocked. Uh, right now, it should say locked up here. I've already rooted and unrooted, so mine says relocked. Um, but if you haven't unlocked your bootloader already, it'll uh, say locked up there. So now it's getting the unlock code from HTC. And you see it's here it says, on your phone you will now see this this, de this declaimer, and on my phone you can see it here as well. If you've already unlocked your bootloader, you won't see this. You'll be at your 
uh, bootloader and you can just go ahead and click continue to keep going. Um, but if you haven't, you'll see this screen and it's just saying uh, that if we want to unlock our bootloader, all of our data will be erased um, and HDC doesn't claim any liability. So to continue, we just use the volume up button to go ahead and highlight the yes. So you see here it's now selected and we can click the power button to select that. So now that that is selected, back on the computer we can click continue and it says your phone is now rebooting. After it is fully rebooted and you reach the home screen, we're going to turn on USB debugging again because the phone has been uh, wiped and it doesn't remember that setting. Uh, once we do that, the program will recognize that the device is connected. Um, since everything is wiped, we'll have to go through the setup again. Um, go through all of the accounts and whatnot, but you can skip all of that now and just do those things later so you can continue with the root process. Alright, now that the phone's rebooted, we're just going to go ahead and skip through the whole setup process. And on the home screen, we can go ahead and go back to settings and go down to developer options and at the top at USB debugging just go ahead and check that off again click OK uh, on the program it'll reconnect there you see it switching the mm -hmm. pop-up it says now it's waiting for it to reboot and now it's back in the bootloader mm -hmm. it's flashing the recovery as you see in the program here mm -hmm. and rebooting again And now it's doing the uh, local root process, and it's going to do a couple reboots. As soon as that, that's done, you should be rooted, uh, but let's just speed through that. And now it pushed the root files, and it says rooting is now complete, and that we can unplug our Evo. Uh, it should reboot again, uh, and then we'll be back into the phone. So here we are back into the phone. I'm going to go ahead and go to the app drawer and scroll over here so I can show you that Super SU is now installed. So that means we have super user permissions here. I'll go ahead and do a quick command on the computer uh, to show you that we do have um, the custom recovery as well. phone's going to reboot, just show you that really quick. And here we have the Team Win Recovery Project installed onto the phone. A really great recovery. Uh, but there you have it, that is how to root the HTC Evo 4G LTE using the Regamod router. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you didn't have any problems, but if you did, just be sure to leave a comment and I'll help you out. Uh, again, this is Brent with the DroidDemos.com, thanks for watching guys.